Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration where, if I'm being honest, since the last episode I've kind of been procrastinating and uh, prevaricating a bit because I've been looking at the requirements for the next thing I want to build which is going to be the space science and my god there's a lot of things go into this and not only that, it almost all has to be done in space so looking at this diagram here we've got so many different inputs. We've got glass and iron and copper, sulfur, uh, cosmic water which is made of water and lube, heavy oil, uh, convention copper, both two types of circuits and petroleum gas and some other mis miscellaneous bits and pieces. So I've been building up lots of different um, things around the edge of my rocket facility, my cargo rocket silo here that are to bring in all of the different things or lots of the different things that I'm going to need. So we saw in the in the previous episode, down the left hand side here, we've got these machines making the um, the scaffolding units that you need to build the uh, what do you call it to build the, to, to put the, to uh, to put stuff on in your in your uh, satellites in, up in space. You've got the space um, construction machines as well, and then round the bottom here we've got some other things like um, solar uh, science. These these two I don't think I've started using yet, but I've also added in belts that bring in um, batteries, lube, water, and I've had to barrel those as well. Uh, electric engines, blue so all, all kinds of circuits, heat heat shields, and low density structures, and all of that is getting shoved into this rocket. So I've got a lot in here now, and a lot of this space is getting taken up, as you can see, by all these barrels, uh, because barrels only seem to stack to ten, which is a little bit tricky, uh, or a little bit space um, hungry. I've also got over here, we're building up um, a couple of, it turns out normal pipes don't work in space, um, goodness knows why, maybe the pressure differential is too big, <laughs> I wouldn't like to say. So here we're building space pipes and space underground pipes and also I started building long space pipes but then I thought actually down here I can only have, you can only load in one thing from each belt if you're using these belt conditions like this, otherwise you'd have to use um, I guess you'd have to use uh, filter stack and filter inserters and have them alternate back and forth between what they were lifting and what they were putting and what they were measuring for and I'm not sure if that's actually even possible so I haven't done that I've just got one one inserter for each thing um, except scaffolds where there's three of them so the problem is as you can now see there's this this thing is almost full, full all the way around there's inserters on most most of the way around it and where there aren't inserters there isn't really room to do anything else so I think moving forwards I'm going to need to move this rocket silo and put it somewhere else now what somewhere else means I'm not quite, I haven't really decided yet because it needs to have really good access to the bus because I'm going to want to have lots and lots of belts coming off the bus carrying all the different things that I want to put onto into the rocket and lots of space around it for the belt to sort of wind around a bit and then some also some space nearby for stuff like like this 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 bit is okay it's building the building the things and then passing them down belts in, into it however these are not so much not okay so much because they're taking up a lot of space next to the silo that could be used to to put stuff into it and likewise up here i didn't realize how much stuff i was going to be putting in so having the cargo rocket sections being put straight into the um in, into the silo seemed to make sense at the time so i think yes i'm going to pull this up put it down somewhere else um the obvious place is just to dump it over here and then rip all of this up and put it on the way out or something like that but I'm not sure if there's really enough space maybe I should put it maybe I should start further up and just have things going on to a sort of an internal bus for it I, yeah. I don't know it's gonna I need to do a little bit more thinking about that but so far it, it's it, it's going as, as you saw I've got lots of stuff in, in my rocket here I haven't got any of the um, iron or copper in here yet uh, or glass looking at it, at it so those are all going to need to go in for, for being able to build up the science fortunately the glass is going to be sort of, and I think some of this might be reusable certainly the the thermofluid can be um, recycled round and round I think it's a slightly lossy process so you do need to top it up a little bit but I think the thermofluid does go round and round so some of these things I'm not going to need quite as much of as it as this implies Let's have a quick look at the science. Um, science. It's this one I'm trying to build. The rocket science pack. Um, okay, so now you put. The, oh yeah, so you put the machine learning data and you get a junk data card back out. Oh, and then you've got a seventy percent chance of turning that into a worthwhile one again. So there's a little bit of it going sort of round around in circles for that. So that's not 
too bad, maybe. Um, I don't know. We'll 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 see. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's my um, that's my current conundrum is how to get enough stuff into this. I think what I might do is load this one up manually, and then build the next one somewhere else and just get this to to stop. Um, somehow, probably by just ripping up all of the inserters around it. It's a bit of a mess, but now it'll work. Um, okay, so that's the main thing I've been scratching my head over. Other than that, there's been a bit of sort of housekeeping. I've been going around sort of fixing up some of these uh, turrets that keep getting ravaged by the biters. I then ran out of supplies over here, so I've not I've not replaced these laser turrets. But I did get roll up here with an artillery train, which is why there's now a, a bit of a, a bit of space here because um, I blew up. Well, I blew up all the nests that were within um, the automatic shooting range because I didn't tell it not to. And I blew up all the small ones <clears throat> that were within maximum remote range. I left these ones because this wall was already struggling with the attacks that were coming down. I think, as you can see, they all pile up over here. What I really need to do is extend this line of turrets way out to about here. So that as they come in here, they're not coming in and just only getting affected by these two or maybe three turrets. But there's a whole load, whole bank of them that can provide provide supporting fire for it as well. Uh, the problem with that is, as you can see, there's a <laughs> still a massive shortage of this green ammunition. I've, this has been running for a long time, but it's actually that's got worse. This is, it used to be up above here, but now I must I must have built some more. Um, it's down all the way down to here. I must have built some more drain on the end of this um, this belt because it now does go all the way round um, across here and yeah up up here and then all the way up here so I've claimed this entire area but that's put a massive drain on my ammunition produ production rate and I just don't have enough uranium coming out of this mine this mine is fairly is now very very feeble I need I need some more uranium mines and ideally I need a lot more um, mining productivity research but I don't think I can do that at the moment um, it all requires sp space sciences which I haven't got yet so I need there is now the, the way I've been tweaking it, power is definitely not a problem. There's a full backlog of, uh, of the two types of uranium here and a full backlog of the, of the power cells. So now power is a solved problem. We've got everything's working perfectly over here. But it's not. Uh, but there's not enough of the, the heavy uranium coming off to be made into ammunition at the moment. I've also still not started making nuclear missiles. Uh, that is something I could easily do now. I've got so much uranium-235 and I've got the rocket control modules but they're in very very different places and I don't know the artillery's been doing reasonably well for me and it does mean there's a massive pummeling on my on the uh, on the defensive wall whenever I could roll up and start shelling shelling the biters and nukes would get would would help with that so maybe, maybe that's a reason to do that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, there's not remotely enough uranium coming out of this uh, out of this mine here. So I kind of need to build up a, build up a mine down here and maybe <laughs> take these two as well. But that's a lot more expansion required. No, oh my goodness, I'm, yeah. Um, so that's quite a lot of stuff to do. And I've been trying to concentrate mostly on the space stuff because that's kind of the point. Uh, but it does mean I've got this very slow dribble of um, of ammunition coming out. And it's just, yeah, it's, it, me, it meant when I was over here and, and fighting the ravening biter hordes, even when, when I um, built up a, a belt, to, uh, to, when I slapped in a load more turrets, and it just took them forever to reload. And this isn't actually enough ammunition to keep the turrets loaded when there's a big attack coming in. So, yeah, it, it, it won't really do, but it's a bit of time, it'll be a bit time consuming to, to actually expand it. Also, due to sort of just general bad design, I haven't really left enough room here to have lots of unloading stations. Possibly what I need to do is I could, I could, I could use this ammo drop station to make the ammunition from, and then I could pull this one out and replace it with a uranium drop station. And I don't need all of the solar anymore, which is how I've managed to put in this water drop station, And because that was a way of getting around the um, water, water problem. I was having. I'll slow down a bit. Over here, as you probably remember, there was the, all these all these tanks getting filled up by the core miners, producing lots of stuff, lots of lovely ores, I'm just going to all my stations, um, but also lots of water as well. And these were always filling up and causing a backlog, and I'd have to go down there and flush them, and that's that's a, just generally bad. So there's lots. That's why there's lots of lots of tanks here. So what I decided to do is run my nuclear power plant over here, or at least. 
quarter of it. I thought I'd run that off the water supply that's coming from there. So I've got another water drop st uh, station here, which has approximately none in it, and I don't know why it's not demanding a train. It should be demanding a train. No stations. Um, okay, I need to go over and check out the, the pickup station, apparently. But anyway, the water's getting dropped off here, and then these two pumps are pushing it into this pipe. It's flowing along here. Um, well, it would be flowing along here if there was any of it. Along to here, where it goes into this tank, and if this tank, and then and then from there into the um, into these two rate, uh, sets of, um, of heat exchangers. However, if the, if this tank gets below ten thousand, then I've got this pump here. Just I've got this offshore pump that will keep it topped up because I don't want it to stop just because there hasn't been enough coming in by train. So this is very much just a sink of any water that is available, rather than me you deliberately using it, uh, rather than it being because the water coming in from that way is needed. So I'm just trying to get rid of it. Uh, but it does seem to seem to work. I mean, I think what's going on over here, the reason there isn't any coming through, is because we've got the. Sh this is yeah, this is set to output if there's at least 2,000 water, and there's only 169,000 water registering, uh, because that's all that's in these these tanks. So as it fills up a bit more, then yeah, it'll, it'll trigger. I might have been a bit overzealous with that 200,000. I could put probably be 100,000 because a train takes. See, a train is a train is six six wa uh, fluid wagons, and they take twenty five thousand each. That's one hundred and fifty thousand. So t actually, two hundred thousand isn't unreasonable. It's just the fact that the um, the water evens out across all the tanks. I should ideally, I suppose, I should pull out all of these tanks and put pump and have the, have the, have pumps in between them and the tanks above, so that these ones are kept full as much as possible, and these ones are treated as an overflow. But I haven't done that, and it doesn't really matter because where the water comes from. Again, doesn't really matter. There's there's plenty of it around. It's not like um, it's not like I'm, I'm on another planet that does or in space or something where where there isn't any water and I have to have to fly it all in in barrels in a rocket like this. <laughs> um, is that everything? I think that's that's about everything. I haven't I haven't done a huge amount because I've just been pounding my head against trying to work out everything I need to cram into this rocket. If we look at the um, my little space station up here I've expanded it a little bit I built I built the rockets the rocket silo here and it's built a rocket which to be honest in hindsight is completely unnecessary because these rocket uh, because you don't need a rocket to get down from orbit that said at some point I might use this to go off to another planet so maybe it's not completely wasted I'm not sure uh, <laughs> we'll see if I ever get ever do actually use it I did a bit of plundering of the chests up here um, oh, there's some uh, iron and copper up here that's quite nice I can use that to make science from um, and there's a decent amount of water and some lube and oil. Oh, oil! That's very handy because I need that for my th uh, thermofluid. So that saves me having to bother bringing any of that up for a bit. Uh, and also some funny guns that I... I don't know. I should probably give those a try. Bring them back down to um, Norvis and, and shoot some biters with them. I've also got... Um, yeah, radar bot, bot pot here. Um, I've, I've, I've set up the uh, my first alien science lab here. Uh, sorry, space science lab here, and loaded it up with all the stuff. So I can do space science research now because there were about a thousand of the um, space science packs. No, can't be a thousand if there's only 600 of each in there. Well, maybe I've used. No, I've probably used some. It probably was a thousand of them, and I've just used 400 already. Um, so I set this up uh, because it was there. I've set this space assembly machine up because um, I want, I'm now going to need the space manufacturers to build basically everything else I need in space. The, the um, assembly machine, space assembly machines are useful, but they don't do half the stuff. And then I immediately discovered it needed cosmic water, so I went, oh for goodness sake, and then went back down to uh, Norvis to get all the stuff I need for it. So that's the one that requires the water and the lube, so we'll be taking some of that up with us next time we go. Okie dokie! Uh, back to back to earth uh, Norvis right and that really is about it um, I feel like things have suddenly got a lot harder I've got I've gone from playing through what felt like a slightly more complicated vanilla playthrough slightly more complicated because of all this business with the um, the motors um, to and the and having that having the uh, meteorite strikes and stuff such like to now it's almost like it almost feels like a angel bobian levels of complexity it, it, it's been an enormous and very very sudden jump so that's been a, been a bit of a shock and it's um it has slowed me down a bit i will i'll admit that uh, i've been scratching my head and going what at the sheer sort of whiplash change of pace however i do intend to um to keep
can carry on pushing and get through that. Uh, as I say, I think this rocket is going to be enough for a first first go and start me off building some building some space science, which is my my next my next goal. You know, the old um, if you're not sure what to do, build some science. So I'm going to do that with this one, and then once once it's ready, to, and then I'm going to rip up all of these inserters and fuel factories and things, and move the silo somewhere else. Um, after I've launched, for when I come back from launching the rocket, I think. Um, and at that point, yeah, and I think I have an idea of roughly what I want to do. I am just, I admit, a little bit daunted by the um, by the how to how to how to organise all of this, and how to how to make sure I've got the right stuff being taken up into space. I think what I need to do is I believe there is a way to transmit signals from one planet to another. So I need to have some sort of warehousing system up there in orbit and send signals down from there. And I can link that. Ah, oh, here we go. Yes, I've got some. The ideas are, are crystallizing now. If I link that to all of to to the um, to the rocket silo and then to all of these inserters, then I can say I want there to be, I don't know, a thousand barrels of water, perhaps. Um, either on the... Um, I want there to be a thousand barrels of water in orbit. If there's fewer than that, I need any any extras to be loaded into this into this rocket so when it takes off it's got them with it. Um, and I can, I can link into the inserters in the same way I have now, but adding in the contents of, of the of this stuff in orbit to the, to the contents of this rocket. Yes, I think that should work. I just need to find out how to transmit data from, um, from orbit back down here. That's probably going to be gated behind three more types of science or something. Um, so we'll. This may take some investigation and some research, but uh, at least until then, doing it manually isn't going to be too bad. Worst case, I end up with a ridiculous quantity of something in orbit, and then have to um, have to have to have to work that out somehow and just bring it bring it all back down to uh, back back down to Earth. No, uh, come back and then come back down to Earth and just stop loading whatever it is that I've got far too much of up there. Um, yeah, so that's. That's given me some things to think about and some way to go with the um, with the future of this this game. Um, uh, my brain is now full, so I'm going to go off and try and do some of that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next time when yeah, well, hopefully if I'll, I'll be ready to go up to up up into space again and 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 start faffing around up there. Thanks for watching. Oh no, we're coming under attack again. Yeah, so there is still the issue of. Um, Heavy attacks happening up in the uh, on the uh, the edges, and it, apparently, apparently the the uh, the bots can't keep up with this. Where am I anyway? Okay, there. I need to go up there. Basically, I need to go up there with an artillery train and pound pound the level of moss name out of all these biter nests until they just go away, just leave me alone. The pollution hasn't gone out too far actually, but that might be because the um because the these nests are absorbing it all. Um, because this does look like this looks like a sort of deserty landscape. It's the same sort of pattern as here. Uh, it's, it's some trees in it, but yeah, mostly desert. So the the um, pollution's going to spread fairly quickly over it. So if I take out all of these biter nests, it'll probably just spread further up, and these ones will start to attack as well. But I think that's still very worth doing. Let's where's my artillery train? Let's send it up there, so I re hopefully remember. There it is. Oh, I wonder. No, I haven't quite got the range. I need to move it up to here. I'll do that between episodes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.